Welcome back to the show. Um, let's get the latest on the bushfire crisis in New South Wales. Now, we have a, a graphic to show you on where the northern flank of these fires are in the Blue Mountains, and a huge fire front is currently burning. Now, this is Lithgow in the west, and this fire front stretches all the way across from Lithgow um, through Bell, across Bell's Line Road to Bilpin. Now, this is a massive fire front there. There are more fires also in Springwood and Winmalee that continue to burn. This uh, fire here around Mount Victoria, not far from this fire front here. And with those winds, the fear is that those two fires will join up to form one very, very large fire front that might stretch in the order of something like 300 kilometres. Now, the fear is that the strong northwesterly winds predicted for Wednesday could create that firestorm. So that all lies ahead, unfortunately, for those communities of Blackheath and Katoomba. Today's Natalia Cooper is in Bilpin in the Blue Mountains for us, and Sam Vardis is in Mittagong in the Southern Highlands. Natalia, to you first of all, the big concern is that fire fronts, the fire fronts will merge. What's the situation there at the moment this morning? Yeah, Carl, that is a huge concern. If those three fire fronts uh, do merge, it will cause a massive fire storm. But look, that threat has eased a little bit. Firefighters say they've done some fantastic backburning work around Springwood, and that means that it's less uh, likely to happen. But another possibility is that this fire uh, burning between Lithgow and Bilpin will join up with the one burning at Mount Victoria, and that will just be uh, a, cat a catastrophic situation, basically, Carl. So look, the situation here between between uh, Bilpin and Lithgow is an emergency warning is in place. The big concern is embers actually spotting from the main fire front onto properties that are along Bell's line of road between Bilpin and Barambing. They start uh, spot fires and they can be very, very erratic. So the advice is if you're west of Bilpin Village, you need to relocate. If you're in Bilpin Village, uh, you can stay, but you have to be aware you may be cut off for a number of days. If you're to the east of it, you need to leave if you're not prepared. And if you're in Mount Irvine or Mount Wilson, you must stay in place. It is two days dangerous uh, up in that area. So look, overnight, the, the big thing firefighters wanted to do was a lot of back burning, but it was just far too dangerous that so they had to move into property protection mode and do all that they could to protect people's homes. Uh, this morning, there has been some light rain sort of spotting around, but it's almost just teasing us, Carl, mm. because firefighters say it's definitely not going to be enough, only a millimetre or two uh, at most. And the big concern, obviously, is when those conditions return tomorrow, those very, very windy conditions. Uh, and if Firefighters today are just trying to do everything they can uh, before those conditions hit tomorrow. Yeah, Carl. preparation for people in those areas is key, obviously. Let's move to Sam now in the Southern Highlands. Um, has the danger there passed, Sam? Well, Carl, the danger has eased a little bit, and that's thanks to the cooler conditions that we're experiencing here in the Southern Highlands at the moment. And, of course, that's helping firefighters try to control that Hall Road fire, which we've seen burning since Thursday. And today, firefighters will be actually able to get on the ground and uh, manage those containment lines. But there is still a potential threat to the towns of Yerenbull, Balmoral and Hilltop. And, of course, yesterday we saw residents in the town of Wilton asked to leave, and that was a result of burning embers actually blowing into the centre of town. Now, those residents have been let back in but are still on standby as firefighters aren't too sure what the wind may do. Uh, now, a community uh, meeting was held in Buxton overnight. Hundreds of residents attended that from Balmoral and Bargo and other villages, and they were basically just there to find out what the fire was doing and find out what they need to do in case the wind changes. But like I said, uh, the, a lot cooler conditions today and firefighters will be able to get on the ground to manage those containment lines and hopefully get it under control before those those winds come around again this afternoon and tomorrow. Carl. Such a big worry Sam thanks for the update appreciate it and to Natalia as well. Now one of the most disappointing sides to all of this is seeing kids charged with starting some of these fires. We're asking you today are the penalties for starting fires tough enough and how can we drive that message home to these people that light the fires? Let us know what you think on Facebook, Twitter and of course email. Lisa.